Hi, uh, I haven't done an, one of these for a while. Um, I used to do them every Sunday, but to be honest, there wasn't much going on uh, the last few weeks, and um, I just didn't feel like sort of recording a load of videos where I was just going, well, there's nothing going on here. Um, yeah, and just looking at the camera blankly. Um, yeah, not good. So, things are opening up. I did my first gig on Tuesday and I've got some bits and pieces coming up that I thought uh, I'd do a vlog about. So one of the first things that happened uh, for me was rehearsals. I am back in rehearsals with the Cats Groove. Uh, if you don't know or you're new to me or the channel, uh, the Cats Groove is a duo that I'm in with a guitarist called Enrico Piane. He's Italian. Um, and we do old soul tunes, old blues tunes, a few jazz tunes that we love. We do quite a few sort of Nina Simone tunes and uh, a couple of Etta James. We, I sing Rather Go Blind quite a lot. Um, I just want to make love to you, you know, the Etta James on the, uh, yeah, so Enrico plays the guitar and I sing, uh, yeah, we write our own stuff as well, there's a playlist for that, <laughs> of course there is, there's a playlist for that on my, uh, if you go to my playlist you'll find all the original music, I am due to record another batch of demos uh, today or tomorrow. I promise I'm going to record them, uh, so there'll be some new stuff about. Uh, we had our first gig on Tuesday night at a place called Service Station. It's a bar in Hull on George Street, just near the college. Uh, it's mainly sort of an acoustic night and uh, we were sort of a, a featured artist, I think. We, um, we got to play about 35-40 minutes which was amazing. Bit of a shaky start. <laughs> it, it had been a long time since I performed anything. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> Bit of a shaky start, but uh, we can build on that. That's not a problem. <laughs> uh, all the other acts were fab, actually. There was a lot of people that we'd seen before, a lot of people that we knew. So, in a way, it was like, the break hadn't actually happened because it was the same people um, just with different songs, new songs that they'd written in lockdown, new songs that they'd learnt in lockdown and uh, yeah, it was just a big night with our mates basically and we all took turns to play. So yeah, that was good. The next thing I've got coming up is a big G choir rehearsal. Uh, we haven't had uh, an in-person rehearsal in a long time, so uh, we shall be rehearsing in a car park which is uh, attached to our local shopping centre, Princess Key in Hull. So uh, it's covered over, but it's not inside, so uh, <laughs> there are no walls or anything like that, so we might get a bit chilly but uh, being a gospel choir, we're always sort of dancing about and um, yeah, so it's always a lot of fun. So it should be an energetic session because we're going to be running through basically all of our repertoire to make sure we've remembered it all. <laughs> so if you are in Hull City Centre around, I think it's 7 o'clock, 7.15 on Thursday, this Thursday coming, you might hear us singing you some sweet gospel music. Um, yeah, I've been keeping up to date with my practice, so we should see. And I've got, like I said, I've got like today's Sunday, so I've got like a few days to polish up uh, my alto lines, and we should be going into rehearsals on Thursday. I should be okay. I should remember everything because there's a lot to remember for. Uh, to choir stuff but I always like the challenge and I think that's why I joined that uh, it's so different to what I normally do that uh, <laughs> I thought yeah I'll have a bit of that so 
another thing that's happening next weekend is another gig for the Cats Groove at an event called Straight Out of Lockdown. Uh, you buy a ticket and you reserve a table for I think it's a few hours and you get a few drinks free with your ticket and uh, it's just like an outdoor event where you can listen to some live music, get some uh, food, I think there's food stalls and drink and just be with other people um, and yeah just be in a well outside but uh, be with other people it's been a long time since uh, pubs and bars were doing anything like that so it'll be nice to see everybody to see people and um, it'll be incredible actually um, yeah so I think we're on quite early uh, that's my fault <laughs> I've got real life stuff that I need to do that day, but the gig was so, um, it was such a good sort of opportunity that I just wanted to, to sort of get in there and do it. Yeah, so hopefully uh, it'll be a good turnout for that. I think the tickets have been going pretty well. I, I've been plugging it loads. Uh, oh, well, I will be plugging it loads. <laughs> on uh, Instagram and the Facebook pages and my own sort of personal Facebook to um, let people know that we are playing and uh, yeah so it, it feels like everything is sort of starting to come back slowly um, yeah I think we're uh, ready I think my hair needs cutting and dyeing before Saturday. <laughs> There's a few grey hairs here and there, but hey, you know, that's me at the moment. Um, yeah, so there's a fair few things coming up and uh, sort of a few more that are sort of far in the future that I, I'm not sort of talking about just yet. But yeah, next week should be okay. So that's it really, that's uh, the stuff that's coming up, um, I, I think I'll be doing these videos sort of when I've got stuff to talk about rather than every week because just genuinely people are um, real life sort of opening up again and I think I'll have real life stuff to do and rehearsals and stuff and different things so if you want to keep in to, uh, up to date with what I'm doing then you best sort of follow an Instagram for sort of the day-to-day -day stuff um, and where I'm at I will try and uh, keep um, posting videos on YouTube when I can but uh, like I say day-to-day -day stuff Instagram's where it's at with me at the moment um, I am so so grateful actually for um, everybody that subscribes on YouTube, everybody that follows on Instagram, everybody that sort of watches the Facebook pages or follows the Facebook pages or likes the Facebook pages. They're always changing the Facebook pages aren't they? Like when I first started it was likes and now we've got follows as well so if you're doing that that's great. <laughs> All of it's great. It's amazing actually that, uh, you know, all this is happening, um, just yeah, because uh, obviously if you watch videos and stuff you know my story, I only started doing music just after my 30th birthday, so I'm sort of trying to make up for lost time I guess by sort of putting myself out there as much as possible and uh, seeing what happens. I am available for collaborations. <laughs> I, I sing, I write um, and would love to work with lots of different people in lots of different ways. I've got my own recording stuff um, yeah, a little plug for me um, and what I do. There's all sorts of um, original stuff on the playlist on YouTube. There's all sorts of videos and things of me doing um, gigs and stuff right the way back all those years ago <laughs> so have a look and uh, hopefully you'll find something that you like or something that uh, you think I if you or if there's something you think you'd like me to be involved in then send me a message 
I would love to hear from people. Yeah, so that's it, I think. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I haven't uh, bored you yet. <laughs> ah. Yeah, so uh, keep in touch and I will see you the next time I post a video or follow me on Instagram for all the, uh, the daily stuff. I'm quite interesting, you know.